This is Moncton. Oh. Is it on? Yes. Okay, I'll, yeah. I'll just pop it, don't worry. Okay. Okay. You take the Oscillus Quick Pro and... How many? Three. One goes here. Um, into the 50 Hz connector. Very nice. I'll zoom in. And other goes in input channel one. Very nice. Um, yeah, whatever. Well, well. Oh, oh, sorry, we don't need this. Oh, you don't need it. Hey, there is. Here, a T-bone stake. Connect one to this. A T-bone stake. Wherever well, it is, I don't know. Connect the other one to it. Connect that bit inside. And the second one should be like this. I mean, it should have an extension. So you put that in. Connect that to this and put one end here and other end in, in the MA thingy. And then turn them on. So now that is uh, on the screen. And we need a paper. So what I'm saying. Pause it. <laughs> I, I have pen. Oh, okay, I have it. Okay, for for that first. Here yeah, they note this, it's 0.1 volt per division, so it's 0 0.1 0 0.1, division. see that? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Then we have got in time, it's 0 0.1 millisecond, so 0 0.1 ms per division. First you have to calculate peak, so that is uh, peak to peak, sorry. Peak to peak. Peak to peak means from here to here. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4.6. Yeah, so there are 4.6 divisions in peak to peak. Uh, so peak is half of peak to peak. So it's 2.3 divisions. Now, um, now the RMS is peak divided by root 2 so that is in calculator peak is 2.3 divided by 2.3 divided by root 2 so that is 1.6 and oh it's wrong it's wrong divided by t is 0.81 no it's oh, what's wrong oh Oh, okay. It is peak divided by 2 root 2, so peak is 2.3 divided by uh, 2 equals 1.15 divided by root 2, so it's 0 0.8131 volts. Uh, this is calculated RMS, and as seen, seen on the screen, I mean, you have to take this. It is 0 0.7693, so we are pretty close to that. And now we we have a calculated time. Time is from this peak to this peak, so it is one oh no, okay. Just it. One, two, three, four, five point two divisions. So it is five point two into the it is 0.1 ms per division it is 5.2 into 0.1 it is 0 0.52 ms so this is t and the frequency f is 1 by t is 1 by 0 0.52 into 10, 10 to power of minus 3 it is uh, 1.52 is 1.92 whoa it's accurate man it's 1.92 kilohertz and as you see here it's 1.92 kilohertz it's 1.92 kilohertz that's perfect very nice so that is the reading
Yeah, thank you. Best of luck.